So do we need to pull out the camera? I don't even have a camera. Oh my gosh, my horse is freaking out. It's like dancing. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. Today on SSO, they released some new quests out at the uh, Wolf Hall Inn. So today I am going to ride over there and do the quests and I'll do them in their entirety. And uh, that way you can see what they're about. So first I need to choose who do I want to take with me and you guys, I have a serious problem. I mean, you can tell. Look at all these horses. <laughs> oh, I've got such a serious problem. I've been playing pretty much nonstop. So, um, this is my newest guy, my second Andalusian. <laughs> I needed a pure white one, so since they're on sale, I'm like, I better get him while I can. So here he is. Um, I kind of regret buying the Frisian. But it's too late. I mean, it's okay. I would like to collect them all eventually. Like, Pokemon, I guess. So it's fine. But, um... Okay, anyways, enough wasting time. My mare down there, of course I named her Rain because I'm so original. But she's probably my favorite right now. Sorry, Magic, I love you. But she's so pretty. Look how pretty she is. Oh, I just love her. And I actually want to make a video about uh, something I discovered about getting this coat color. There's an app, a secondary app, where you can raise a foal and once it's grown up, you can transfer it over to the game. It's kind of strange. Okay, um, we're probably going to go... This is a pretty saddle, but I really don't have things that match it very well. So probably just going to go with the black setup. I wish that the paint horses could wear the English bridle. I just love the way the English bridle looks. It is so pretty. So we're just going to go with this black and white setup here. Where's my boots? Here they are. And we'll get our little saddle bag here. And I forgot to put these guys away. Probably my favorite pet right now is that little lunar fox. He's really cute. So we will stick him in there and we're ready to go. Let's go see what these quests are all about. They look pretty fancy, if I do say so myself. All right, it looks like the quest is right down there. Quite a few people here. Whoops, didn't mean to run you over. Okay, what's on their mind? Hello, Jane. Wolf Hall Inn is currently hosting some guests from abroad. I wish I could say that things are going smoothly, but something seems to be bothering them, and they refuse to talk about it. Can you talk to them? As the innkeeper, I want to ensure their stay is as good as possible, but they aren't telling me what's wrong, perhaps out of courtesy. Okay, so it must be a guest, and then this group of people here. Let me introduce the tourists that are currently staying with us, then you can ask them what's bothering them. A family staying here has been bickering for a while. I've only heard bits and pieces, but it sounds like they're undecided on what to do with their free time. Perhaps they'd appreciate an outsider's perspective? Hmm, it's kind of nosy to me, but oh well. And second quest. One of our guests is a botanist who scout in the area as part of her research. She's also looking for a location to hold conferences. Ed's excited as this sounds like a potential for even more guests in the future. I've seen her grumbling and mumbling to herself, primarily when in the cafeteria. I worry something may be wrong with the food we serve. Can you ask her what's wrong? She says everything is fine when I ask, so I think she's holding back her thoughts out of politeness. Okay, we'll do Tense Mother first. Hello, dearie. How can I help you? I'm sorry, dearie. Are we blabbering too loud? 
Actually, are you a local? You might be able to help us. We've been driving around Jorvik to look at the different stables and to decide which one to send our daughters to next summer. Our stay included a few extra days in case something unplanned happened, so now we have a few nights remaining with nothing planned. Do you have any recommendations for relaxing activities? We would prefer, prefer, we would preferably not have to drive after driving so much lately. When in Jorvik, the best thing to do is ride horses, duh. Duh. Your mother is tired of driving to the stables. Please respect that. We should try to find something else to do. But dad... Oh dear, looks like they're all riled up again. I have to try and calm them down. But let us know if you can think of something for us to do in the area. Before you go, that man over there looks like he wants to talk with you. Okay, little Ed. I heard everything, Jane. They're not being particularly discreet after all. Let's put on our thinking caps to solve this situation. Our clientele is looking for something to do in the nearby area. This is sure to repeat itself with guests coming here for conferences and then having a few hours to themselves. What activities can we suggest that takes place in the great outdoors? It's time for my thinking cap. Now where did I put it? Wow, nice thinking cap. <laughs> Ah, there we go. The ideas are now flowing freely in my mind. Many hotels and inns often have a pamphlet stand with suggested events and activities, so why don't we? There's a barbecue pit up the, nearby up the hill. Go grab some photos and I'll start writing. I have to include directions to the location and where we sell food and picnic baskets. Why are you still here? Go take photos with your phone. Your phone doesn't have a good camera? What antique looking brick do you own? I thought all the young kids were all about having the latest model and make. Very well, you can borrow my camera, just return it when you're done. Okay, so we're gonna go right up the hill. Wonder if it's on this side. Of course I would choose to go the wrong direction. <laughs> Oops. So do we need to pull out the camera? I don't even have a camera. Oh my gosh, my horse is freaking out. It's like dancing. <laughs> oh, just click it. Okay, one more picture. All right, perfect. So now head back down and turn in. And run into a tree in the process. You done? Let me take a look at the photos. Yes, this is great, but one spot isn't enough. People like having choices. They say that the locals often know the best spots for everything. Could you go ask Mrs. Pike if she knows any good picnic areas in Greendale? Also, seeing as the road wasn't traversable for some time, while on your way, make sure to keep an eye out for anything that might make it difficult for tourists to find their way through Greendale. Also, take note of things that might help. Okay, so now we will talk to the botanist real quick since it's right here. Um, hello? I didn't even say that. I don't know why I said that. I look like something's bothering me and you're wondering if it concerns the inn? Well, sorta. Will you hear me out? I guess I don't have much of a choice. Mother Nature is wonderful. Greendale Forest nearby is proof of that. But nature can only provide so much if we keep indiscriminately taking from her. I came here to study the local flora. Several wild plants are getting rarer in the wild. While GED has certain, certainly worsened the situation, they aren't the only ones at fault here. Um, is there anything we can do to help? I'm brainstorming some ideas, actually. Wolf Hall Inn's current menu includes a plant. Your Hervegian wild thyme? That's in decline in the wild, but is relatively easy to grow if you know how to care for it. The seeds of the plant should have started to mature at this point, so I was thinking of collecting some to give to the inn while also giving them some feedback on how they can be more sustainable. You want to help? That's very kind of you, thanks. You can move about so much faster than I since you have a horse. So could I ask you to collect some seeds? Here's a reference sheet so you know what to look for. I heard they grow in the forest nearby. Ah, and we're already headed to the forest. Very nice. 
You know, of all the horses that I've bought, I still have not got the Pasifino. <laughs> oh, gosh, I hate being a min-maxer when I play a game. I just have to look up, okay, what's a really good horse for dressage? What's a really good horse for hunter, jumper? What's a good horse for this? And then I have to get them, and then there's different opinions, and oh, it's a whole mess. And now at this point, I just kind of want one of every color. So who knows what's going to happen. But anyway, let's do this quest. Okay, so we're looking at different landmarks. Oh yeah, I'm able to pick up these uh, plants now. Different plants around the world. It looks like there's a lot of things to click on. Let me guess, I went the wrong way again. Yes, of course. <sighs> I'm a mess. So yeah, I've been collecting so many horses. <laughs> oh, it's really sad, actually. I just get OCD about it. I can't let it go. Alright, collecting some seeds. Hey, we got one! There's a log in the middle of the road, but it should be fine to walk around it. That's true. I would be happy to go on a walk here. Really nice forest. Tons of squirrels. Greendale has quite a few unique characteristics. Lots of squirrels, mushrooms, and flowers. Yep, that's true. Oh, a turn in up here. Okay. Oh, this must be Mrs. Pike. Is that her name? Hello, what can I do for you? Ed asked you to talk to me about the area? Yes. Well, we have a barbecue pit here and a nice area right next to our house where you can hold a picnic. We certainly wouldn't mind an increase in foot traffic and company, especially if they may also hold an interest in fishing. Why is she holding a fish? <laughs> There's also a nice area in the forest with a grand view if they rather have some privacy. Let me show you where on the map these places are so you and the guests don't get lost. Unfortunately, the map doesn't have the smaller roads on it, but maybe you can draw them or take photos to help tourists find their way. Take care now. I guess she just stands around holding a fish all day. That's not weird at all. Oh yeah, this is a nice spot. The view of the ocean right there. So is the next one down here? Probably not because I always go the wrong way. Yep, of course I went the wrong way. It's up top. I'm so bad at navigating this. In my defense, though, the map, it seems like it's not always spot on. I think it would be kind of weird to just have a picnic at someone's backyard. <laughs> but, oh well. To each their own, I guess. Oh, there's some flowers right here. I think we still need seeds. Yep, we need one more. Hopefully this will be our last one. Yes, awesome. Okay, so now we need to take, looks like, a few more pictures of the roads. One right here. Oh, that's not going to be a very good photo. <laughs> you can see inside my horse's face. Another photo right here. Oh, running into a tree. Not surprising. I really, really want to get, I mean, ideally to level 20, but it takes a very, very long time to level. I mean, I've been playing this a lot. I have a lot of free time because it's summer right now and it it takes a long time. So I want to get there though because I 
think I have an idea now. Oh my gosh, I cannot steer. <laughs> I'm not normally this bad. It's because I'm trying to talk and, and move. But anyway, um, I think I have an idea now of what in-game looks like. And I actually wanted to make a whole separate video discussing some of the things that I've learned and things that I'm going to continue to look into because it's actually really ugh, another rock okay it's actually really fascinating um that this technically free to play game has such a large serious community of com competing it, it really surprises me a lot i mean i know other mmos you have like hardcore raiding guilds and stuff like that and they hold their own um money pot competitions which I don't think there's money pot competitions in this game it's more of just about ribbons and stuff like that but still like I said a free-to-play horse game I never would have expected there to be such a culture around it and I love it and I want to know more okay let me take a look to make sure you collected this right seeds yep that's the right ones your vegan wild time thank you for your hard work so I should be ready to talk to the inn owner now. Um, the operative word here is should. The guy seems a bit eccentric. You know him? Then could you ask, could I ask another favor and talk to him to see if he'd be open to the idea? Okay. Yeah, he is quite eccentric, that's true. Oh, now see I see this black paso? I think I like it better. It's so pretty. Looks more Frisian than the Frisian. Welcome back. I trust you found some more scenic picnic areas? I sure did. Jane, I had another great business idea. Okay, we'll do this one. You got some nice photos of the areas? Nice. Very nice. These scenic photographs are definitely going to draw in the weary travelers looking for a peaceful picnic or barbecue. Apologies, I couldn't help but over here. Are these areas available to the public? Why, yes, and they all have their unique selling points and what kind of scenery you'd prefer. Which one would you recommend, then? Uh, I kind of like the forest, but I gotta go with the ocean. I just went to the beach for a few days, and it was beautiful. That does sound wonderful. Thank you so much for the suggestion. I'm glad that it worked out in the end. Thanks to my business sense and your willingness to help, we've accomplished our goal of providing our guests with something to do. You can't click him. Okay, there we go. Uh, we'll do this one. I had an excellent idea for a tourist activity that will surely cater to many guests at Wolf Hall Inn. Yes, by combining the interests of horses and ecotourism, the inn should cover the biggest interests of those wanting to... I made a deal with the people at Goldspur Farm and asked them to set up a small beginner-friendly race nearby. However, I got some of their equipment sent here instead of directly the person setting everything up. You have something that you wish to talk about for improving the inn? Well, I need to finish the last of my thoughts before taking on any more mental tasks. So, how about you deliver the equipment and try out the race meanwhile? I like races. With the destination in mind, they now need the food to enjoy their outing. Go get a picnic basket from the stand behind the inn, up the hill, but not the hill to the barbecue pit, and give it to the family. I'll finish the pamphlet so they'll find their way. All right, so let's see if I can figure out the right way to go the first time for once. I'm thinking it's up here, but I probably am wrong. <laughs> um, I don't see it. Am I supposed to buy it from a vendor? Oh, up here. There is the glitter. Okay. All right, I didn't get too lost. I'm happy to have some free XP. Need all of the XP I can get at this point. Okay, we'll pick this up. That horse's tail, that's cool. Oh, a picnic basket. Thank you, what a great gift. Thank you so much, dearie, for going out of your way to find us something to do. What's this? A barbecue set. Oh, that's fun. 
I heard from Ed that you helped him take photos and write about the surrounding area where guests can go to have a picnic. I also saw the parents of the bickering family looking very content as they carried a large picnic basket to the car. Hopefully they've set their differences aside and have a lovely outing. Okay, so I guess that's the end of that set of quests. Is that a barbecue set? I wonder if that's a one-time use or if you can use it multiple times. Hmm, I'll have to look into it. Okay, I'll just drop these down right here. And talk to Molly. Thanks for the delivery. Is there something else I can help you with? You're with the Wolf Hall Inn and here to try out the race? Nice. It's not easy to do creative work in a vacuum, so having a rider to consult will help. Mr. Field came to me after negotiating a deal with Angus at Eden and Iden at Goldsboro Farm. I don't know the details, but we hope we'll get some of the visitors. I managed the race tracks at Goldsboro Farm, so I was asked to set up a new race for Wolf Hall Inn. But that's enough background. You look like you would have no problem completing it, so I'll t time you to add some challenge to it. Let's do it. I like these tall jumps. I honestly still haven't decided which horse I want to be my main hunter. And I, I actually really like the idea of show jumping a lot, actually. I was kind of looking into an organization that uh, a friend of mine introduced me to so I don't know though I don't know which horse to pick to be my main jumper kind of thinking Arabian I know that the English thoroughbreds are pretty much the top suggested jumper and for good reason I get it even lore wise but I'm honestly not a big fan of them I'm sorry I'm just not okay good job not that there was any doubt you could do it I still need to expand the race a bit and replace the obstacles with something that better fits the scenery Moving a bunch of poles is a lot easier than actual logs, you know? That's actually a good point. I could really use more of your help later if you have time. Thanks for now. Alright, so I guess we'll just head back to the inn and see what else is going on. Oh, I love that Arab right there. Oh, so pretty. Wish I was playing then. Excellent. You're back to one pe in one piece. Now let's talk about how we can further attract visitors to the inn. One of the guests has some suggestions on improving my business from a sustainable point of view. I can't make any promises, but I'll hear them out. Send them my way. The inn is so pretty. I should stay nearby since she was so nervous about talking to him. Okay, let's inch forward. Both of them are frowning. Let's ask what's wrong. Oh, hi, Jane. I look defeated. Ed told me that all he gets all the food from his suppliers. I mean, of course he does. Chefs don't go out and pick things in the wild themselves. I feel so stupid. I'm so sorry I wasted your time collecting the seeds for me. I tend to get tunnel vision when I've thought of a solution to a problem. Not all is wasted, dear guest. I've now learned about the vulnerable state of the plant and will immediately and will limit my purchase of it. Just because it didn't work out the first time doesn't mean that the whole idea was wrong. Why not go give the seeds and information to Miss Pike? Oh, that's an option, Jane. Could I ask you to write out to deliver them? Truth is, I'm feeling a bit embarrassed. Okay. 
just a word before you go. I have some thoughts to share before you go. In all honesty, I'm not sure what Mrs. Pike can do about the endangered plant situation, other than just educating her. Much like her name implies, she's a fisher, not a farmer. I don't think it's fair to assume she'd be willing to grow the plant as part of her business. Ah, uh, but it's also unfair for me to assume what she would do based on her name, either. So, you best talk to her. After all, my name implies that I'd perhaps be a farmer and not the stellar businessman I am. Your name would imply that you... Eh, never mind. Yeah, you better stop that sentence. There's a girl over there, the one who's waving. She's been looking in our direction for a while. I suspect she might have something she wants to say to you. Yeah, she's blankly waving. Hi again, do you have the time to try the updated race? Yes. I'd really appreciate it if you tried out the rework I made for the race. You have a favor to do on the other side of Greendale? No worries. You don't have to do the full race if you don't have the time. The big changes are the start of it. So just do the parts that are on the way to your destination. Maybe you can do the other half when you return. Cool. Let's try out the new race. I'm surprised I made that jump. <laughs> it kind of worried me for a second. Okay. Oh, that's a big jump. Whoa. That would make for a really cool picture. Oh yeah, that's something else I've been getting into too, kind of a little bit. Another big jump. Ah! Um, SSO photography is a big thing. Matching outfits and going out and posing the horses and... These are some really big jumps. I like this course a lot, actually. This is really fun. That was a cool race. I liked it. Alright, so we'll turn into Mrs. Pike real fast. A delivery? Oh dear, I never knew that the... I can't say that word very well. Wild thyme was a vulnerable species. It has always been so abundant in the area. We often use it in soups and grilled fish. It'd be a shame to not be able to eat those dishes in the future, so of course we will take heed. Thank you for sharing this information with us, but what are these seeds you're giving me? It's nice to see the environmental initiative from Wolf Hall Inn. We're proud of what we do, and we have to take care of the environment that gives us so much. I don't have any need for the seeds, however. I don't have any flower pots nor the green thumbs to grow plants. It's a miracle that our roses there are doing so well. Perhaps it's for the best if you give them back to Mother Nature. The guests at the inn really wanted me to have these. I'm sorry, but I don't have any use for them. If you're worried about making them sad by telling them the truth of what happened here, well, sometimes a white lie might be for the best. Take some time to decide what you want to do before heading off. Have you made up your mind? As for spreading the seeds, why not ride around in the forest with the seed pouch open? Letting them drop out as you jump. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to her. I'm just gonna tell the truth. Oh, sharp turn. Okay, so this is the second half of the race. I got myself a little pony yesterday. I've been wanting one. I wanted a Welsh pony, but um, I also really like the Gotland. They're super cute. And then the Welsh, you have to build up reputation to get, which I could do that. I'm just very impatient and I wanted a pony yesterday. So <laughs> I went ahead and got a Gotland and he's a buckskin and he's super, super cute. And I'll eventually get the Welsh eventually. I'm sure. But yeah, I wanted to do the pony races. This part of the track isn't as fun. It's not as much jumping. I like those really big jumps.
And this is just kind of flat. Alrighty, we'll go turn in. Oh, hey, you're back. How did it go? Well, don't keep me waiting. I'm going to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sad it didn't work out in the end with the seeds, but at least she know now knows the plant is endangered. Yeah, that's important. Thank you for telling me how it went. No problem. Now I can relax and not feel so guilty about the menu at the cafe. Remember, you should ce celebrate the small victories, too. We made a good team, didn't we? Thanks for hearing me out. I guess what's left for me to do is what I came here for. Some rest and relaxation. All right, I think we're finished with that chain. Looks like the dark clouds over our botanist guest have dispersed. Thank you. Oh, and before I forget, Ed told me that the race the inn is setting up will be available to you to ride whenever you want once it's ready. Nice. That's a fun race. I like the big jumps a lot. Thank you so much for listening and helping out with everyone's troubles. Ooh, a new saddle pad. I hope that in the future you'll swing by Wolf Hall again, whether it be for rest or because your next adventure brings you here. All right, I think that that is it. So let's take a look here. It's basically just a reskin of the um, anniversary saddle pad in a new color. A little lazy, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with more colors. So I guess that's going to be it for today's video. That was the new quests. And this is the reward mixed with that barbecue pit set. So yeah, I have, I've been working my butt off leveling <laughs> as you can see. So more content to come. But thank you so, so much for watching and until next time. Bye guys.